Hi YouTube, this is my weekly wax burn, uh, the review of things that I've burned and finished this week um, for the week ending the 8th of December 2012. Burning in front is um, a new burn for me, Tis the Season, from um, Bath & Body Works, Slatkin & Co line. It's obviously a real um, Christmas candle with a nice um, holly wreath picture on the front, um, bright red wax. Uh, you can see it's a really good burn. I've been finding all um, this season's candles and indeed the fall season candles from Bath & Body Works. Uh, I've had no duds at all. Uh, well, not complete duds. Um, all of them have burnt well, at least to start with. A few of them, there have been a few problems as the wax has um, melted further down the jar. But generally, they've all been um, pretty usable, pretty easy burns. And this one's no exception. The waxes are... The waxes... The wicks are nice and sturdy. And they burn forming... Um, a kind of mush mushroom at the top which although you have to trim them to keep them safe does mean that you get nice high flames that um, float above the wax pool give a really good throw the throw on this particular candle is excellent it's fragrancing the whole of my flat at the moment it's a very seasonal smell I like it it's not my favorite I've never had it before it's a very typical Christmas smell in that there's a clear um, spice cinnamon element, which I would say is the predominant top note of the whole fragrance. You can smell very definitely an apple note, which um, they describe on the um, written description. Um, I'm less clear of the kind of pine note but it's a kind of herbal note in the background overall it's a very very strong spicy um, fragrance a little bit too in your face to make it a real favourite for me um, so it's not a standout I wouldn't say I wouldn't purchase it again because it's such a, a really clear Christmas fragrance that I might well be tempted to buy one again next year but I wouldn't want to kind of back up to, to burn this year to be honest I think this one will be enough so it's there kind of in the lower medium likes range of my Bath and Body Works candles <clears throat> I haven't actually burned yet um, my favourites from last year which would be um, Winter and um, Merry Mistletoe particularly winter but I have burned for the first time this year started burning evergreen which is absolutely glorious and is definitely one of my favorite um, Christmas holiday fragrances it's a really really beautiful true non-synthetic pine evergreen um, fragrance absolutely does what it says on the tin I'm really sorry I haven't got a backup of that and uh, in fact, I've ordered a few um, backup fragrances from the, the site that I use in this country this morning. And sadly, they haven't, although they've got their last shipment of holiday candles in before Christmas. Um, Evergreen and um, Fresh Balsam, which uh, is a similar fragrance, weren't on the list. So I had to um, satisfy myself ordering another winter, which is a definite pine fragrance but not as strong and sweet as evergreen and merry mistletoe so anyway i've got plenty of candles to burn this holiday so there's no crisis <clears throat> now i finished a lot this year excuse me coughing and choking i've got a bit of an unexpected cold or cough this morning um this week i finished off brandied pear which uh, was part of the fall range and as you know i liked it not my absolute favorite but um i did enjoy it uh a, a really nice fruity alcoholic um sugary uh scent um this was one that burned very well to begin with 
but the flames got a bit low sort of midway through, which meant the throw wasn't quite as good, although it was adequate. And the usual problems that we get with um, these burns nowadays, a lot of wax left in the bottom at the point where the wicks ran out completely. So I can't use that in the candle anymore and we'll have to steam it off to use in a burner. Um, I think I've got a backup. I'm not sure I would rush to buy it again, but I might change my mind if they brought it back next year. This one, I definitely would if they brought it back, but I'm kind of sceptical that they will because this was one that I bought um, cut price when I was over there, even when the full range was still selling. This is Plum Wine Amber, and I absolutely love it. It's a really delicious, alcoholic, uh, fruity... Um, Really good throw, warm, comforting, um, but slightly unusual fragrance from the kind of more foody, uh, drinky lines. Uh, I'm glad I've got a backup of that. Really enjoyed it. Burnt well right the way, um, although there's some wax down at the bottom. It was a very good burn overall, so I absolutely didn't regret getting that and getting a backup. Um... This week, when travelling, I finished up my baby cranberry woods. Um, that wasn't a brilliant burn, I, although it looks like it. I actually melted the last bit down and poured it off um, to use in another candle um, to finish that one off. So that was finished. Um, it was a bit watery as a, a fragrance to me, and I'm not sure it would encourage me to buy that one if it's still available. This one, though, was a sensational burn in such a small size. This is the Black Pepper Bergamot. And the notes on this are intricate layers of spicy black pepper combined with uplifting bergamot and lavender in a fragrance inspired by fall's changeable days. And I really, really like this one. As soon as I smelt it cold in that small size, I knew I wanted to get a large size, which I did when I was over in the States. And uh, I haven't burned that one yet, but if it burns half as well as this tiny one, which had an amazing throw for its size, I will be really pleased because it's a really uh, distinctive um, fragrance. I like... Um, what are deemed masculine fragrances quite often, although I also like the sweet foodie fragrances that often women like more, so the research tells us. Um, but this one is um, a, a real keeper for me because it's unusual, um, distinctive, it's not spicy, I suppose it's more of a cologne fragrance if I had to describe it. You can definitely smell the lavender um, secondary note giving a nice kind of woody lavender base to the bergamot. Um, I'm not sure what pepper smells like because black pepper to me doesn't have a particularly strong smell other than spicing up other flavours. I think it kind of is a, a fragrance that brings out other fragrances. A bit like you can be recommended to um, sprinkle a little bit of black pepper on fresh strawberries, which sounds bizarre, but actually heightens the strawberry flavour when you taste them. So I guess it's like that, and it, it really brings an extra dimension to the overall fragrance. Um, but this one is really nice. I'm not going to start burning the big one yet, because I think it's a fragrance that one could burn right the way through winter and really enjoy. It's definitely quite a heavy fragrance, not a summer fragrance, but I'm kind of looking forward to getting to, into that in the new year. So um, that's a real plus and very, um, very different from a lot of the uh, Slapkin. Actually, this is a white barn there, um, marketing it under, if you can just see at the top. <clears throat> so that's what I've been burning this week, along with some of the old pumpkin wax that I'm finishing up in my uh, tart burner at night. I finished a lot this week, which has kind of brought me to the beginnings of all my holiday candles. So I'm looking forward to burning those as I decorate the tree this afternoon and uh, all the lovely smells that are to come. So hope you're enjoying your wax burns. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or comment and let me know if you didn't. 
um, see you soon. Bye.